Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a road material in Quixel Mixer. I'm not going to show you everything that I do, step by step, but I'm going to tell you how I made this texture, so you can make it yourself in about 5 minutes. So I just added two different road materials and changes the color to a lighter color so it seems that the roads it's uh, older than it, than it is and i try to blend them by playing with the height so i can mix both of them and you can see some cracks after that i started to add some road marks and change their size and locate them in their right position. So, you know, you just have to use the placement um, tab on the right. You can choose tiling or just um, one time repetition. After I chose the, the marks, I started to add some depth because the marks are painted over the roads and if you see um, a road really close you can see that they have a slight 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 uh, bump and with that i played with the blending mode so it blends better with the roads and it doesn't look like so fresh you know so you can see a bit of the the roads in between the the white lines. After I give it some height and blended the road material with the road lines marks, I also turned the preserve details to the maximum, so you can see uh, the all the details of the the road marks, and it didn't we didn't lose that. marks I added some rock decals to variations and I played with their scale also I again played with height always checking height blending playing with the height and using the wrap to underlying so we can see uh, the rocks getting a little bit up the the roads so it seems they have some dimension and are not only flat on the roads apart from that i used a brush so you just have to go down add um, a brush a painting layer and literally just go around click uh, with the left mouse button and start to erase the the rocks that you think there are too much as i did in here apart from that i just added some cracks to the roads the cracks are basically the same thing as the road marks so i just played with the height Always blend the material with the road so it doesn't seem to dislocate it and preserve the details uh, of those cracks. Um, and in these parts I used again a painting layer so I can erase some details that I think there are too much and don't fit at all uh, in the road. There are, as you can see, some, some of the cracks don't have the same color as the road, so I just change it in right there in the albedo map 
skin with the middle mouse button and click in the albedo color and it will try to find um, a color that is that matches the the other materials that you have in your road so that is why you see me changing the color of the cracks and not actually going uh, clicking in the albedo and choosing the color myself i also added some liquids to the roads so it seemed like he had rains or it was raining and i think it gives a much cooler look to the roads and again it's the same thing playing with the heights so i can see how it looks better with the cracks and with the little rocks and i changed also the the color to a more grayish muddy color so it fit better with the road colors and it's basically this uh you just experiment with different cracks different road materials different rocks and you have yourself um, a damaged road or if you want to you can do a smooth road as well uh, i did uh, some of those variations and you can create these variations in about five minutes thank you for watching subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video